Hello, welcome to the Accounting Hub. I am Professor George Carpin, uh, Accounting Professor and PhD in Accounting. Today, we will talk about over-allocated or under-allocated manufacturing overhead. Very brief topic, and it doesn't matter what kind of costing we are working with. Job costing, process costing, activity-based costing, departmental costing, bank -like costing, it doesn't matter. We will have the problem. We will have this problem here. What is this? Uh, and manufacturing overhead is allocated using a predetermined rate. So we are working with estimates. At, at the end of period, actual manufacturing overhead is known. So we need to conciliate both the allocated one and the actual one. All, all manufacturers will have either uh, have under allocated or over allocated manufacturing overhead. When do we have under allocation? When our actual manufacturing overhead is greater than our allocated manufacturing overhead. When we have the over allocation, when our actual manufacturing overhead is lower than our allocated manufacturing overhead. And what happened with our cost of goods sold, our costing, and so on? So let's go to our Excel file. And remember, our Excel files are in our video description, not only for this video, but for all of our videos. So let's check here. I have two jobs. Job number one, allocated 235, the actual manufacturing overhead 250. Job number two, allocated manufacturing overhead 300, actual 280. So the difference here, let's work with absolute numbers instead of positive and negative. So allocated less actual 15, open this formula here, 20. And okay, we need to adjust these numbers. What do we have here? Are we under allocated or over allocated? So remember, let's go back to our PowerPoint here. If our actual manufacturing overhead is greater than the allocated, we are under allocated. If it is the opposite, we are over allocated. So we have an if formula here. So if allocated, if actual is greater than our allocated, then we are under allocated. If it is the opposite, we are over allocated. To be more precise, we could do an if formula about what if it is equal. However, it's very rare to have equal, especially if we are working with cents, then it's much harder. So the first one, the first job, we are under allocated. Second job, we copy and paste the formula, we are over allocated. So if we are under allocated, we are also under costed because the allocate the actual number is greater than the allocated number. So we are working with this allocated number, and now we need to adjust to the actual number. So we will have the same formula here. If the actual is greater then allocated number, we are under costed. If it is the opposite, we are over costed. We are under costed here, over costed here because we are working with greater numbers than the actual numbers. So how do we adjust it in our cost of goods sold? We are working with this number here in our cost of of good so now we need to adjust to this number here. This 15 will uh, increase our cost of good sold. So let's go to the formula. If actual number is greater than the allocated number, we need to increase cost of good sold. If it is the opposite, just like here, we are working with 300. Now we need to go to 280 we need to decrease the cost of goods sold. Here, increase cost of goods sold 
or decrease cost of goods sold. The same with inventory. It's the same. Inventory here, we need to increase our inventory and we need to decrease our inventory. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have comments, questions, leave it in our video or email me at jscarpy at gmail.com. And please subscribe our channel and like this video. Have a very nice day.